good morning students and welcome to the online class of science subject dear students today we are going to start with the workbook exercise of lesson number 2 health and diseases i hope you are ready with the workbook and textbook and of course your pen pencil with which you are going to copy the answers or tick mark the answers in the textbook and students we are very happy to announce that this week onwards that is today monday 5th july onwards you are going to have your live sessions in which your subject teachers will be having the live sessions with you you won't imagine students how happy and excited we are to see your faces to see you all of course on the screen but at least we will be able to see each other i hope you also are equally excited about the live sessions our science live session is on friday and the timings are given to you dear students all the three divisions are having different live sessions and you have to join the meeting as per the given time table the link will be sent on the whatsapp group 5 to 10 minutes before the session and you have to immediately join the session and you will keep your self mute okay so let's start with the workbook exercise of lesson number 2 health and disease the very first question in your workbook is fill in the blanks first one decrease in platelet count is a characteristic symptom of dengue the answer is dengue second one is elephantiasis is caused due to female dash it is mosquito it is caused due to female mosquito the third one is general medicines are also known as yes they are called as generic medicines <laughs> the next one the hormone dash controls blood sugar level it is insulin hormone which controls the blood sugar level fifth one is uncontrolled and abnormal cell growth is called as it is called as cancer sixth one is rabies is a dash disease it is a viral disease as it is caused by the virus seventh one is one unit of blood donated by a person can fulfill the need of dash persons at a time so it can fulfill the need of not one or two but three persons of a time so if somebody is donating the blood that means the person is saving the life of three persons okay let's come to the second question name the following the first one is test required for diagnosis of aids and it is called as elisa e l i s a elisa is the test for aids second one is group or lump of cancerous cells it is called as cancer or it is also called as malignant tumor malignant tumor third one is scheme of government to make medicines available at low price it is pradhan mantri jan aushadi yojana next is two non infectious diseases and they are diabetes and heart attack let's move on to the third question strike out the odd man out the first one is reasons for diabetes are obesity junk food stress and hereditary 
and it is the junk food which is not a reason for diabetes. Second one is chemotherapy, radiation therapy, angioplasty and leproscopy and the odd man out is angioplasty. Third one is common cold, down syndrome, flu or dengue and the odd man is Down's syndrome. Fourth one is malaria, hepatitis, elephantiasis or dengue and the odd man is hepatitis. Fifth one is plague, AIDS, cholera, tuberculosis and here the odd man is AIDS. Now define the following. The first one is health and it is given in your textbook on page number 6. So open page number 6 students and the answer is on the very first page of the lesson. See the heading when red is given as health. Got it? Health. So you will start from health is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-beingness and not merely the absence of any disease. Second one is infectious disease and the answer given is on page number 7. The very first line, the heading is given in red color infectious diseases. So the answer you will write is diseases spread through contaminated air, water, food or vectors and in bracket insects and other animals are called as infectious diseases okay so first four questions are the next question number five is answer in one sentence and the very first one is what is a disease now this answer students is given in your textbook on page number six you remember just now we had written the answer of uh, question health so just below that the heading given is what is disease right so you will write start writing below that condition of disturbances in physiological or psychological processes of body is called as disease second question is state the reasons for diabetes the answer is given on page number 10. Page number 10. In the second half, the heading diabetes is given and there the reasons for diabetes is given very clearly. The heading in black is given reasons for diabetes, heredity, obesity, lack of physical exercise and mental stress. This is the answer. Third one is what is meant by pathogen and the answer is disease producing germs or the organisms are called as pathogens. Students, see now if you are not having enough time to copy down the answer, you can afterwards open and you can copy down the answer as per your convenience. The lectures are available on the YouTube and now we are having our own YouTube channel. So as and when you have uh, time you can open the lecture and you can copy down the answers. Let's move on to the next. Fourth one we have to omit. So omit the fourth one and the fifth one is how can one reduce the frequency of falling sick and the answer is given in your textbook on page number 12. See the last paragraph of the lesson written in red lifestyle and diseases. Got the heading? lifestyle and diseases in this heading the second paragraph you have to start your answer it is if frequency of becoming sick is to be lowered people should follow right lifestyle it must include sufficient sleep right food yogasanas pranayam and physical exercise so this is the answer Next is question number 6. Which are the various media of spreading the infectious diseases? And the answer is given on page number 7. Open page number 7. And the answer is 
uh, on top of the page just now we had written the answer infectious diseases so it is same diseases spread through contaminated air water food or vectors insects and other animals this is the answer the next one is question number 6 7 and 8 you have to omit don't write 5.7 and 5.8 now let's come on to question number 6 list down the preventive measures for the following diseases first one is aids first to avoid sexual contact with the infected person second people should be educated about transmission of aids third before transfusion one must be sure that it has been screened for hiv fourth there is no cure but prevention is the only way to stop it these are the preventive measures for aids let's move on to the next now directly i had come to fourth second and third you have to omit ringworm and swine flu you have to omit and the fourth one is dengue and it is first we must see to that water should not be kept open water locked areas should be fumigated or sprayed by ddt plants having dishes below it should be checked for water water can get collected into it and fourth one is boil water before consumption these are the preventive measures for dengue the next one is cancer the very first preventive measure is controlled diet helps to prevent some type of cancers physical exercise along with modern treatments is more beneficial to cure the cancer and third one is avoiding addiction like tobacco chewing or smoking etc so these are the preventive measures for cancer question number 7 is write causes of the following diseases and the very first one is heart attack the causes of this disease is given in your textbook on page number 11 on page number 11 heart diseases heading is given and in that heading the black bold letters it is written reasons of heart attack so it is smoking alcoholism diabetes hypertension obesity lack of physical exercise heredity mental stress anger anxiety these are the causes of the uh, disease heart attack second one is cancer this is given on page number 10 under the heading of non infectious diseases the very first disease is cancer and there you will start from the heading reasons okay reasons consumption of tobacco gutka smoking alcoholism lack of fiber content in food excessive consumption of junk food are some of the many possible reasons heredity may also be a reason these are the causes of cancer third one is diabetes and it is also given on the same page below the cancer disease diabetes heading is given and in that the reasons for diabetes is given very clearly it is heredity obesity lack of physical exercise and mental stress okay so this uh, we finish with question number 7 now next is question number 8 a write short notes on the very first one is importance of balanced diet it is not given in the textbook students so i am giving you the answer directly a diet which contains all the constituents in the proper proportion that is carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals is termed as balanced diet second balanced diet depends on age kind of work and gender third is in childhood children grow faster they need more proteins than the senior people every food group is essential for our body and the fourth one is 
each food group has its own special nutrients by taking equal proportions we can have a balanced diet then the next is importance of physical exercise or yogasana first importance is a strong physique and an alert mind developed through regular exercise participation in games yoga bhyas keep one free from diseases physical exercise helps to inculcate self discipline it also aims to maintain a good quality life it makes the students vigilant develops team spirit and attains leadership qualities it develops a stress free environment sportsmanship and mental strength now the next is give scientific reasons okay now here the third one importance of blood donation that you need not write just omit that that is 8.3 you have to omit then next is give scientific reasons b part the first one is vaccination is important this is also not given directly in the textbook so i am giving you the answer the resistance to the onset of a disease after infection by harmful germs is termed as vaccination it increases the ability to resist diseases second one is we should drink boiled water in rainy season why because in rainy season the water is contaminated which when consumed can cause various diseases like hepatitis dysentery cholera and typhoid etc boiling the water kills the germs present in it and thus we can achieve good health by drinking boiled water in rainy season then the third one is medicines must not be taken without a prescription of a doctor this is directly given in the textbook on page number 11 page number 11 open page number 11 students so on page number 11 the last heading at the end of the page is misuse of medicines right so that is the answer sometimes some people take the medicines without prescription of doctor overdose of medicines may affect our body example overdose of painkillers may damage nervous system excretory system liver overdose of antibiotics may lead to nausea stomach ache dysentery rashes white patches on tongue etc so this is the answer of 8.3 then let's move on to question number 9 answer the following in short the first one is why the clean hands drive is run in school it is run in school to create awareness of the usefulness and positive impact that it has on healthy living that is the answer second one is why is it necessary to take care about health of domestic dogs cats and birds the answer is dogs cats and birds being domestic revolve around human beings therefore to protect humans from all sort of infections it is necessary to take care of them and vaccinate them regularly next question is why the animal cages and their living places should not be near the kitchen first one is animal cages and their living places may contaminate food the hair or feather from animals or birds may enter food thus making it unfit for consumption and third point is thus they should not be near the kitchen so this is the answer of 9.3 next question number 4 that is 9.4 how do the following diseases spread A is hepatitis. It spreads through contaminated water, sharing of needles, and blood transfusion. 
B is malaria. Female Anopheles mosquito. C scabies, skin to skin contact of infected individual. D tuberculosis, spitting and coughing by patient through air, prolonged contact with and sharing materials of patient. Dengue, Aedes aegypti is the vector for this and it is DEN12 virus type and it is flavi virus. It is a viral disease. F is dysentery, consumption of contaminated food and water. Ringworm G is a direct contact with infected person. And H, swine flu is infected pigs and secretions of nose, throat, saliva and sweat of infected person. Okay, so with this we finish with question number 9. Let's move on to question number 5. The last sub-question of ninth question. How can we observe personal hygiene? We can observe personal hygiene by washing hands and legs, brushing twice a day to keep away bad breath, clean genitals that is the uh, genital area and bathe regularly to keep away body order. So this is the answer of question number 9.5. Next is question number 10. Answer the following questions in brief. The first one is, is there any relation between pigeons, stray animals and human health? Yes. Because pigeons droppings spreads histoplasmosis and stray animals, they can spread various diseases. So, of course, there is a relationship between the pigeons, stray animals and human health. Second question is, what are effects of rats, cockroaches on human health? Rats, they cause the disease plague. There was an epidemic of plague in 1994. Then cockroaches, they contaminate the foodstuffs, utensils and water and thus they can spread many diseases. Third one is write the information on modern diagnostics and treatments of cancer. Diagnosis can be done by CT scan and MRI, mammography and biopsy. Okay. Then the treatment is chemotherapy, radiotherapy and surgery. And modern Techniques are robotics and laparoscopy. The question number 11 is distinguish between. So, distinguish between infectious and non-infectious diseases. And the answer is directly given to you which you can copy as per your convenience. Infectious diseases and non-infectious diseases. Infectious diseases spread through pathogens and infectious agents. Whereas non-infectious diseases arise in human body and they are not caused by infection or body contact. Second point. Infectious diseases, they spread very quickly, whereas non-infectious diseases, they are restricted to infected person. They cannot uh, infect the other person. Third point in infectious diseases, they spread, they are caused due to microbes or pathogens, whereas non-infectious diseases are caused due to genetic abnormalities or, wear, or wearing out of the tissues. Infectious disease examples are influenza, tuberculosis and non-infectious diseases examples are night, blindness and diabetes. So students, with this we finish with the workbook exercise of lesson number 2. Now students, as you are in 8th standard and you are big enough so, now onwards, the remaining questions like practice and learn, 
and whatever extra questions are given in the workbook you have to find out the answers and write on your own because all these answers are there in the textbook see the practice and learn 12a that you will write on your own what can be achieved or can be prevented by okay then the chart types of diseases that is directly given in the textbook so you will copy down and you have to find the diseases which are given in the word puzzle then you will complete the table which is given on page number 23 and you will make a list of at least two viral diseases bacterial diseases diseases spread through insects and hereditary diseases okay so students please keep completing your workbooks on time and please remain at home stay home stay safe and please take care of you and your family thank you and see you in the live session